what is going on everybody and welcome back to some more of um alone in the dark here so anyway uh, we did another one of jeremy's memories we actually met jeremy in the last one um we had our first glimpse of the of the dark man as he's known as um and uh yeah anyway um so we've got another key to the uh the uber well, is a luggage key so i'm not entirely sure where that be Might be this chest. It is Barlow Barlow's lens. Telescope. A telescope lens. Why would he lock that up? Jeremy had found a way. Use the telescope in the drawing room. Uh, to look for answers in the stars. So the drawing room. Oh, there's the drawing room. So it's on the floor below. So, we go through the plaza and then the, as you know, the auditory, sorry, the orderly, the library, to the small parlour, to the drawing room. Should be in the library. Small parlour. So this is the door room in here. There's the telescope. Find the coordinates. Oh, 
Yeah, that's my grandma. She passed away like five years ago, and I kind of just left her there. It's just Jeremy for you. Ah. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? actually see where that another world the dining room where am I right now Oh, the dining room's right there. chapter too soon and we are I'm glad to see you made it I had my doubts but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge, and this is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Yermi never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Yermi once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy, why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? 
Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, this far-flung convent is what Jeremy imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Jeremy subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Yermi's psyche, it's simply not possible. But well, I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait. Why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the text of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. <laughs> no thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The Dark Man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past him? Be careful, detective. Oh jeez, just perfect. There's something missing. Hmm, I swear if those things move.
lot of statues and I, I'm getting Weeping Angels vibes from them. Go down the ladder, go down the ladder. Are you dead? Go down the ladder. Jesus Christ game, it's a simple fucking ass. Go down the fucking ladder. Good. Um, I'm alright, thank you, Emma. Cheers, though, for the, uh, for the, uh, um, uh, fuck, I can't think of what I was going to say. Thanks for the offer, that's it.
in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. <laughs> Detective! One! One! I hope you found the jewel. I fear there is no hope. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Garmby, think! Think! Shipping up. Prexed. Right. Good luck, Detective. <laughs> well, thank God you're here, Detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, Detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Enchanté. Are you sure? I had too many already. Nice. It's good. <laughs> I know. I have great taste, Detective. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the Dark Man. Yeah. Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No. But it makes you wonder if he made a promise. Can't he simply stand by his words? Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. What? You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance. I do. They made big money during the war. Their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? <laughs> Bonne chance. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? Are you trying to make me jealous, detective? <laughs> no, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Alright, okay, cool. I'll, uh, I'll end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.